Hey, what's going on, guys? This is Arid Redux. So, uh, yesterday, I actually last night, I uploaded a video of me being just extremely mad. Now, let's be extremely stupid. So, have you ever wanted to, you know, have infinite file storage, no matter what the cost? Um, of course, the cost being free, but like the work you put into making the way you're doing it infinite? Well, today, I have a solution for you. GitHub. So, I recently opened a, a thing, I just created a new, just a new repository, and I decided to post a whole bunch of um, pictures that Discord wasn't letting me upload because they decreased their file size to 10 megabytes, which just isn't enough for some 4K screenshots that I create with print screen, and of course, pr with print screen, you have to paste them somewhere, so I pasted them in GitHub, and that actually worked quite well, and there isn't really a limit to how many you can do, so I'll just, I'll, I'll just up upload all of them here, and then link to them in Discord so I can send these send the screenshots to people without actually sending them the picture file itself, which Discord no longer allows me to do, so that's my solution to that. But then I realized, well, couldn't I just upload anything? And technically, yes, you can, but it'll only allow you to upload certain things. If you try to drag, like, a MIDI file in here, for example, it'll just say, we don't support that file type. So how do you fix this? Well, let's check the file extensions. So you could just rename one of these files to MOV, and then it would upload to this, but we don't want to do that. So what else is in here? Well, there's zip. You can literally just put one of these or put all of them into a zip. And then that should, um, in theory, upload, which it will. It'll, it'll just, you know, be as, as slow as your, um, your internet upload speed, which mine is pretty slow for uh, Silicon Valley anyway. This is actually way slower than, uh, than before. Okay, yeah, there we go, finally. So this is there and you can download it. I was gonna cancel that, but apparently I can't. So, yeah, we have that. So, what's the next step? Well, I'm gonna delete this, because that was just an example. These are things that I actually needed to archive, and I just put them here. Hopefully they don't, they don't get deleted in like a day, but anyway. What if you want to upload a larger file to GitHub than it allows? Because if you try to drag um, this, which is a 300 megabyte file, well, GitHub says it's 299, which that's just, I'm pretty sure that's just the size of the file minus 25 megabytes, at least to GitHub, even though that, that would still be wrong. I'm giving it some leeway that that's what it's doing, so yeah, this is a weird error to get, but anyway, yeah, 300 megabytes is a bit too much for free files. So, what do you do about this? How do we, how do we make this file 25 megabytes? You know, how do we make it fit that scheme? Well, there's this thing which you can do with a lot of uh, full-featured um, archive programs, which is called splitting. You split the archive, so when you zip a file, this is already in a zip, so we're just going to be making a zip of a zip, but what creating a zip from this file is going to allow us to do is split the archive into 25 megabyte chunks. And what this is going to do is not compress the file at all, but it's going to create a whole bunch of parts of a zip. Now, having these all in one folder, if you double click this one, It'll open it in your in your archiver of choice and expand all of these archives. All these archives would be treated as one single archive file, uh, one single zip file. And you double click it, any of these, and it should unpack into this file. So right now, I'm actually going to delete this file because we don't need it anymore. So if you try to drag one of these into GitHub right now, it doesn't bitch about the file size anymore. It just bitches about the file extension because the extension is what matters now. And it's no longer a zip, it's dot zip dot zip dot 012 or 011. So we're just gonna, you know, go ahead and archive these again. And this is gonna take a while, um, but eventually you'll be done. Whoops, missed one. So now we have the same files, but they're now inside actual zip files. So, well, that'll let us upload them to GitHub. So let's let's do that. Let's just delete these, completely wipe them out, and then just drag all of these to GitHub because it's not going to prevent us from doing this. I did this just earlier. So yeah, it'll upload, and this will take a while. My upload speed is about 2 megabytes a second. I usually get a little bit less than that, or a tiny bit more than that, depending on the day. There's the first one. I'll come back to you when it's done. Oh, and excuse the awful audio setup I have right now. This is an Audio-Technica AT2020 USB edition that I just have going through a really, really crappy USB hub thing that goes into a USB-C port on this MacBook. I actually have it jammed in between a bunch of blankets because I couldn't be bothered to get on my main PC and because I was already doing this on the Mac, so oh, why not record this on the Mac? And the fans with this loud will 
because, you know, I'm recording 4K60 on this MacBook, and uh, this MacBook's thermal design, not the best. And I'm using software encoding. <clears throat> all right, all of the files are now hopefully uploaded. So now we can either add more files or just finish the upload. And bam, here's all the files. Now let's go and delete them from my uh, drive. So now they're gone. Well, what do we do about this? Well, let's get them back. All we have to do is click on each one of these individually and it'll grab each one from the GitHub file server. Now this is pretty annoying, but you did expect free infinite file storage, did you not? So now that they're all downloaded, we can go to see where they are, and they're in here. So what do we do? Well, these are all zips um, right now, so we have to extract them. So let's just open them. And it opens uh, macOS's archive utility and uh, unarchives all of them. And now we're stuck with the archives we uh, we uploaded before. Or we put it into zips and then archived before. So dot zip dot zip dot the archive part number. So all we have to do now is open this in an archiver one that knows uh, how to deal with this stuff, and we're back with our original Fantasy MC Fabric Minecraft Mod Pack zip file. Now we can extract this and see what's in it. Or we can import it into CurseForge, which is actually what it's meant for. Um, right here's Iris and Memory Leak Fix. Resource- holy crap, there's resource packs? Jeez, no wonder this thing takes forever to download, but anyway. So yeah, that's how to abuse GitHub for infinite file storage. And that ends this stupid video. I'll see you all in the next livestream, short, or video, whatever that may be. Thanks for watching. <laughs>